guys, this is Tia from Self Sustained Living. And I have dandelions. Now, Tommy's going to mow today. But I just read about dandelion jelly, dandelion wine, dandelion tea, and dandelion healing salt. So I'm going to get out here and pick these this morning before he gets out here and mows. As you can see, there's still a ton more of dandelions. And other weeds. But here's what I've accomplished so far. Pretty good. Gonna go put it in a Ziploc bag in the freezer. It's addictive. I have Mona out there picking one now. <laughs> At least she doesn't think I'm crazy. So there's Tommy mowing. And there's my dandelions. Oh no! Okay, I'm going to try to show you how to do petal the flowers. Grab the center and twist. And there's some of your petals. Then just stick your thumb in there and rub. You'll hear it pulling off of the, the very center of the stem. But as you can see, it goes pretty quick. And you're left with that. So that's the fastest way I've found to de-petal. And this is for the dandelion tea to make the dandelion jelly. So you want just the petals. And I'm going to see how well these freeze. I already have some ready to go, but I wanted to show how to de-petal these. So I hope that helps. Okay, so I tried freezing them as whole heads. That didn't work out so well. They get very soggy. There's a lot of water content in dandelions. So now I've got just petals. It's about two cups, lightly packed. So we'll see how that turns out. The next step, after you've steeped your tea overnight, is to strain out all the dandelion fluff. And I'm going to use a tea towel because I don't currently have any cheesecloth. These work pretty good. And they're 100% cotton. And it'll take a while. You could use a coffee filter if you wanted to. And then I'm just going to move this to this jar to store. Oops. Wasn't very good with that, was I? I might as well use a tea towel to clean that up, but I'm going to put down these paper towels. To catch it. And I'll soak that up. I'm going to lay my tea towel back out and finish straining this. It's kind of a yellow, amber color. Looks looks a little, a little weird. But I'm going to squeeze all the juice out. I'm going to have way more juice than I needed. I needed four cups. And that's what I have just in there now. So, after boiling the dandelion petals for three minutes and then letting them steep in the water to cool overnight, I strained them through the cotton towel and I ended up with seven cups 
of dandelion tea, I guess it is. It's kind of a greenish, ambery, yellow color. Um, all the teas I've seen are about the same color. And they lighten up when I turn them into jelly, which we'll do in the next step. I have to pick up some lids for my jelly jars because I only have wide mouth lids. And the only jelly jars I have are regular mouth. So I'll catch back up to you as soon as I go to the store and pick up some lids.